I'm doing because it means a lot to them, not because it means anything to me. If I close my eyes, I'm done with the world. Whatever I'm doing, serving food to people who are starving, free education that's going on to thousands of children, so health support, the health initiatives that are going on for people who are deprived of that, and planting trees, Kaveri, all this I'm doing because it means a lot to them not because it means anything to me. If I close my eyes, I'm done with the world, with everybody. I'm talking not just about you or somebody, everybody, everybody, that means everybody. If I close my eyes, they're all gone, they're dead. But I do these things because it means so much to them. Without fulfilling those things, they will never even aspire for anything bigger. Right now somebody is hungry, are you going to talk to him about enlightenment? That'll be cruel. So we feed him, not because I get some great satisfaction in feeding him, no. I've always been saying, <laughs> I have no satisfaction in anything that I do, including spiritual work. Whenever people ask me, Sadhguru, you must be having so much fulfillment, seeing all these people joyful, blissful, what is my problem? They're joyful, blissful, miserable, what's my problem? I have no problem. Because they have a problem, I reach out. Because I didn't see them anything other than… other than as myself, I reached out, that's all. But if I shut my eyes, I'm done. I'm done with the world. I'm done with everybody and everything. Oh, so much work has happened, people are saying, how will you… Oh, who is your… Uh, who will carry your legacy, Sadhguru? Who will you appoint next? Nobody. If they're interested, they'll carry it on. If they don't think it's valuable, they'll drop it, it's up to them. I'll leave it to them. If they have not seen the value, if people have not seen the value of what's being done, let them drop it and turn it convert this into a hospital or a school or something? Because that is how most spiritual organizations end up. I don't believe Isha Yoga Center will end up that way because many people have seen the value of it. Even though I constantly nag them, trouble them, create impediments to their work, make their work more and more difficult, this is not for any sadistic satisfaction just to see how much it means to them. They have proven that it means a lot to them. Life or death, they will do that. Whether I am there or not, they will do that. So, maybe not everybody, but a whole lot of them will do that. So it will continue because of that, because it means a lot to them. Not necessarily because it means a lot to them, because it will add to their life, it doesn't… all this work doesn't add a thing to my life. But it means so much to every other life, so you do it. If you choose not to do, many yogis, fantastic yogis, they do nothing. They just withdraw. Nothing wrong with them being like that. This is why I said, when you come in touch with the guru, you can either… if you're using him as an inspiration, this will keep happening because somebody will keep dragging you this way, that way. See, many young boys in the yoga center, they all came determined, but then, you know, the girls were pretty. They got married, <laughs> nothing wrong. But I'm saying, like this, if you keep going, and whatever small needs are taken care of, no problem. But if you change trajectory because small thoughts and emotions change, best we don't empower you. So I'm… as I said, uh, 
I'm not yet in the sunset stage, I will become far more colorful as I go, watch it. But right now, heading that way, it's four o'clock in the evening right now, in terms of the day for me. So it is summertime, summer is uh, here, sun is setting at uh, almost 8.45, 9 o'clock in the night, so there's still hours left. But when it's four o'clock in the evening, the intensity of the sun is not like noontime, it's becoming prettier actually, it's becoming nicer. But at the same time, it becomes selective. See, when the sun is up at twelve o'clock, it shines on everybody, everybody, because it's up there. Four o'clock, unless you stick your neck out, it won't shine on you. That's where it's going right now. So, you must decide whether I am an inspiration for you or I am a... what? Friend, philosopher, guide for you <laughs> or uh, I am a doorway for you that you got stuck in or I am a destination for you or I have become your dharma. Time to decide because this is not noon time where sun shines on everybody. You need to stick out for it to shine on you.